Honoré de Balls sack. <laughs> What is up, everyone out there at YouTube? It is Tim.TV here, and as you can obviously see, I'm bringing you guys something a little different today, but I have a goal behind it, and I'm gonna explain it to you right now. 2016 hasn't been the best year for a lot of people, for individuals, for YouTube as a site, as a whole, and with only 15, only 16 days left before the end of the year, I wanted to take this time to see if we could come together as a community and do something good. And that's why today I'm attempting to start the free rice challenge. And you might be wondering what the fuck is free rice? Well, freerice.com is a website where you can sign up for free and answer simple trivia questions to get rice for children in need. If the YouTube community bands together to make free rice a trending search term in the YouTube community, creators will be encouraged to create videos on freerice.com because not only is it going to help their channels, but it's also going to help kids in need. And I'm hoping that we can use this as an opportunity to get everybody together before the end of the year and do something really good and get a shit ton of rice for these people. So if you guys want to participate, all you need to do is go on freerice.com and make a video yourself and join the group right here. A link for it will be in the description down below. It is called the free rice challenge and the picture is of Robbie Rotten from Lazy Town. <laughs> So I thought that'd be perfect. But without further ado, let's just hop into this and get some rice for some people. And if you guys like this, please make sure to share it around and let's see if we can get a bunch of people on this train and do something good for the world, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, without further ado, let's pick one of these categories. So we got a whole bunch of different subjects here to choose from. I'm terrible at math, so I don't think I want to pick any of those. Oh, uh, you know what? Let me go with, with literature. Let's do some literature related stuff. I don't know. I'm pretty... I'm pretty bad at almost any question that would have came to me. The murder of Roger Ackroyd was written by... Oh, fuck. I, <laughs> I have no goddamn clue. Well, I mean, I've never heard of Stainslaw Lem or Honoré de Balzac. <laughs> Honoré de Balzac. All right, I'm going to say it's like the Chrissy. She's the uh, most popular one. Yes! Oh, my God, it's right. And look, at that was so fucking easy. That's already 10 grains of rice. Like, boom, right there. That's already something. God, the Garden Party was written by F. Scott Fitzgerald, I feel like. Catherine Mansfield? I, I was wrong. I don't know why I picked literature. I don't know any of these books. I'm gonna go pick some of the newer subjects. Famous paintings. I'd definitely be able to find some stuff there, I would hope. Uh, Self-portrait. This definitely looks like a Van Gogh painting. This has his style 100%. It's got that swirly shit going on all over the place. I gotta say that's Van Gogh. Alright, creation of Adam. <laughs> now, this is... I always like seeing this picture because it's super funny because all I can think of is all the memes where somebody replaced <laughs> where somebody replaced one side or the other and there's just so many different ones and it's so fucking funny but that was by Michelangelo. The Great Wave off Kanagawa. I've always loved this painting. I actually never knew where it came from but it's always been really cool. It's just super iconic. Um, I don't mean to assume but judging that the art is Japanese I would assume it's from the only Japanese name on the list. Yeah! Cool. All right. See, I'm a lot better at art. I actually know what I'm doing. Autumn and Argon Tool. This painting looks a lot worse when it's zoomed in. God, one thing I never understood is pointillism. Like, how the fuck do people do shit like this? Like, this kind of painting style where they just go dot, 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 and you zoom out, and it just makes it a huge painting? Like, that shit's insane, but I think that's Monet. It feels like a Monet painting. I'm gonna go with Monet. Hell fucking yes. I'm actually doing okay right now. Well, this looks like it's definitely not by Van Gogh. It doesn't really have anything that would, um, it doesn't have anything that would sway me to believe that it's his sort of style. I've never heard of any of the other artists on this list, so I'm kind of fucked, but I feel like this is something that would come out of a Franz. Damn it! It's by Paul! <laughs> That's all I had to do. <laughs> God damn it. All right, well, I think this is going to be my last art question. We'll move on to another topic, but... Primavera is by, uh, this, that sounds like it would be an Italian painting, so I'm gonna go with Alessandro. Holy shit. God, I'm, I'm really good at, at guessing things. I mean, granted, these questions aren't necessarily incredibly hard, but we've already donated 60 grains of rice, so that's pretty fucking awesome. Let's move on to famous quotations. That sounds like it'd be fun to guess. I'm really sticking to humanities. I kind of like humanities. I'm terrible at math. Oh my god. All you need is love. I don't know which one of the Beatles wrote that. I'm gonna assume it's Paul McCartney. John Lennon? Well, I'm just a fucking idiot. 
I would trade all of my technology for an evening with Socrates. I don't know why, but for some reason I have a little bit of a feeling like Socrates was not the one who said that. That'd be a little cocky. Like, you know, I turned all my fucking shit in for like an afternoon with myself. Like, I'm fucking sick. All right, well, let's see. I feel like that's something either Steve Jobs or Bill Gates would have said, but assuming that Steve Jobs has passed away, I don't know. I'm gonna go with Bill Gates. And it was Steve Jobs. God damn it. I don't know why I assumed that because someone was dead that that wouldn't have been their quote. That doesn't necessarily make any sense. I, God damn it. The Soviet people want full-blooded and unconditional democracy. Did Nixon say this? Because Nixon was president during the Cold War. No, Mikhail Gorbachev, former general secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. For some reason, something compels me that he didn't want democracy for fucking anybody. Like, who the fuck said Eureka? Uh, Archimedes, maybe? That, I feel like Eureka is something that had to have been said a long time ago. I had this leapfrog when I was a kid a long time ago, and it used to just say, Eureka! All the fucking time, like, when I didn't do anything to give me positive reinforcement. So, like, when I was a kid, I thought I was hot shit, because my leapfrog kept telling me that I was hot shit. And, like, I went into school, and I just got put right in my place. It's like, bro, like... The leapfrog thinks everybody's special. Like, you're not that you're not that special, dude. The world's a lie. Like, all right, I can stand out the war with any man. Margaret that jerk Florence Nightingale. God damn it. I'm so bad at these. All right, let's move on to the next one. Kindness is a mark of faith, and whoever has not kindness has not faith. Mother Teresa maybe? Muhammad? I I'm just so bad at this. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Now that's Marilyn Monroe. And the only reason I know that is from Breaking Bad, because there was a whole section of an episode about that. All right, well, let's change the subject, and we'll do one more, and then we'll end this video. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? Um, I am okay at chemistry, but I mean, you know, those questions are too basic. <laughs> All right, uh, you know what? I'll scroll down here. Let me do some human anatomy. I feel like that's something I will absolutely fail at. So let's see, which is larger or which is longer, the large intestines or the small intestines? Isn't it the small intestines are longer? Nice. Okay, I have now donated a hundred grains of rice. Fuck yeah, I got an achievement for that shit. That's fucking sick. All right, bones are responsible for, uh, do bones produce red and white blood cells? I feel like they, 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 they would, right? Okay, cool, nice. What bone is the remnant of a tail that humans lost through evolution? All right, so I mean, the appendix is an organ. It's, it's not a bone. Would it be the coccyx? Oh, nice. I was like, I don't know why, but cock reminded me of a dick and dick reminded me of a tail. So using context clues, I was like, if you had a cock coming out of your ass, that looks pretty much like a tail. Uh, and that's pretty good. <laughs> what part of the mouth is identified by four? God, that's definitely the tongue, right? Like, I mean, that. what else would that be? The average heart weighs between... Huh, well, you know what? Let me just, uh, let me just cut my chest open and find out. Uh, the average heart... I would assume it's probably, uh, let's see, like, a heart is around the size of a pear. But it's got, like, all that fleshy shit and, like, organs. I'm really picturing this in my head. 250 to 350 grams? Wow! I feel like a fucking genius. I literally did this because I thought it was gonna be shit at human anatomy, but I've gotten every single question right. The kidneys are found, not in the torso, not in the cranium, not in the abdomen. The abdomen, yeah, that's where the kidneys are found. I don't know why I said not in the abdomen. What anatomical feature is identified by number seven? Oh my God, what the fuck is this? So number 14 is the bladder then, right? Uh, and then this is going up to what appears to be the small intestines and the large intestines. So I would think that is an adrenal gland. Oh my god, I'm doing so well! I don't even want to stop! I like when I get the questions right, it's fun! <laughs> what bone does this represent? Uh, I mean, this looks like your lumbar support, yeah? No, that's the, that's the cock. That's the sick cock. Alright, well, you know what? Now that I've lost my winning streak, I'm definitely not trying to, definitely not trying to do this anymore. Definitely not trying to donate food to anybody. <laughs> god damn it. Alright guys, well, thank you so much! For watching this video i really implore you even if you don't have any subscribers even if you don't even have a channel to make a video yourself 
playing for 10 minutes and to just get some rice and to support the cause. If you want to join the group so you can contribute to the total so we can see how much we raise together, there's going to be a link to that down in the description below. And I really hope you can share this around. It would be really cool to see a bunch of other people joining in on this train and doing something cool for the community. Like I was saying earlier, 2016 has been shit. We can work together to make it less shit. We don't need to make clickbaity bullshit content. We can make our own trends. So let's fucking do it. Like the free rice challenge. Get some free rice, do some good shit, make a cool video that's trending, and have a good one. So, yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like this, please make sure to leave a like and leave a comment down below telling me that you did. I'm super excited about this, and I really hope it does well, and it can only succeed with your guys' support. So, I really hope you can help me out. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.